Hey guys, I am back with another video. Uh, I know it's been a long, long time and I'm not going to apologize because I apologized before, but I will do better. I will, I promise I will do better with uploading videos. Now that I am here at my first duty station, I have a little bit more time to kind of make videos and kind of get in the groove of uploading and everything like that. So I hope you guys forgive me and thank you to all of my new subscribers. Enough of the little chit chat. I wanted to come and make a fun, fun video for everyone. They always ask about my wigs and if I still wear my wigs while in the military, um, which I do. Thank goodness, because what would I do without my wigs? But uh, I do still wear my wigs, and I'm just coming on here to make a video to show you guys how I still wear my wigs and how do I still stay in regulation with wearing my wigs. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get right into the video. Hopefully, you guys like it. I thought it would be really, really um, fun for me to do and fun for you to see how I kind of switch it up from my day to day. Okay, so I will show you guys. I usually just braid my hair to the back like this. I am natural. Um, I did do my second big chop in February when I first made it to my um, duty station. I had to cut it because it was breaking off so bad and it was just so brittle. I just had to kind of start over. I started over from really, really short. Like all the way short. I have a story to tell about that as well. So if you want to hear about the story on what happened on how I had to cut my hair. Um, I will upload that video. It is hilarious. I promise it's hilarious. Not fun for me, but it's pretty funny now that I think about it. But yeah, so first wig I'm going to show you guys um, is this long, 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 long wig. I think it was like 30 inches, I guess. I don't know. Um, I will leave all the wig descriptions at the bottom because it's been a while since I wore these wigs. And I can't really remember off the top of my head on um, where I get it from and how much it was and stuff like that. But I know this one was probably like 40, between 40 and 45 dollars. So it's really worth it. So this is my long wig. It is 30 inches. Um, I've had this wig probably about five months now. I bought um, another one actually. The first one I bought, it lasted me almost a whole year. So I did get my money's worth. Um, this one is the one that I pulled back into a bun. If you see, I just took it behind my ear um, just to give it that sleek look. If you want to make sure also that your swoop in the front does not cover over your eyebrow, um, you just pull everything back. It is 30 inches. Yeah, it's, it's kind of long. It looks short, but it's kind of long. Um, again, you want to make sure everything is pulled to the back. I do have my scrunchies. Um, I have two. I only use two. Some people use one. Some people use four or five. I only use two. One for the ponytail and one for the bun itself. What I do, I just twist it. Twist it as tight as I can. Um, while I'm twisting the hair down, I go ahead and wrap it around just to make sure it is really tight. Because I really, really hate when my ponytail falls down while I'm working. It looks really unprofessional so you want to make sure it is as secure as it is gonna be make sure your edges and everything is inside so so simple um that is the sleek bun with the long hair very simple again as i say here is my next wig this is my shorty my shorty is this wig actually is the wig that I made. Um, I know it looks kind of crazy, but we're going to fix it. Just wait three seconds. We're going to get it right. So this um, this is the wig that I make. I started making shorter wigs probably about three, four years ago when I first did my big chop. Uh-oh, put that little bit. Yeah, just tuck that back in now. You can't show them that. Yeah, okay. There you go. But <laughs> I um, started wearing these after I did my first big chop to cover up my natural hair to use it as a style protector. I really, really love the short wigs because you can pull it to the side. You can pull it to the front. You can curl it. Make You can really make it a curly little short pixie cut. That's why I like it. It is sleek on the side, sleek in the back. Nothing's hanging. Nothing is 
pulled up. This is my next beauty. This one right here is really manageable. You don't have to do anything to it really. Um, it is the Sleek Bob as you can see. Only thing I do, I just brush it down. I am going to demonstrate how short you need to cut it with my blouse on. Um, but you would have to cut it just so it won't reach the bottom of your collar on your blouse. Um, I know that's how we are in the Air Force. I'm pretty sure that's all the branches as well. But you want to make sure that, you know, everything is in regulation as well. I know it looks kind of lengthy, but I wear this in my civilian uniform. So that is why. There you go. Look at that. So that sums up all of my wigs. Well, just the ones that I wear while in uniform as well. But I kind of wish I wouldn't have. Um, I kind of threw away a lot of my wigs that I used to wear at the end of last year and the beginning of this year. I wish I wouldn't have thrown them away or given them away like I did because I could have had more variety for you guys to see. But I think you guys get the idea um those are just really bare minimum but if you get any other wigs just make sure it's not cut too long make sure it doesn't um exceed lower than your collar and for us the short wigs make sure it's just not like everywhere make sure it looks presentable and professional um with the longer wigs once you pull it back and put it in the bun make sure your bun isn't hanging lower than the bottom of your collar but other than that that is what I do. That's how I switch up the different wigs that I wear while in uniform. And also, not even for the people that are in the military, even if you're not. These are some awesome, awesome wigs. My long wig, it is amazing. It's beautiful. All of these wigs are beautiful. Um, the shorter one, I kind of make on my own. Like I said, um, I've been making these shorter wigs for a while. And I put another picture in as well with these on. I love, love, love um, my shorter wigs because they look so natural as well. Most of all of my wigs kind of do, but the shorter ones really kind of fit my face. So, um, whichever wig works for you, I just want you to have fun while you're in the service. Um, don't feel like you can't really do anything with your hair kind of have fun with it but stay in like regulations don't get in trouble or anything like that when it comes to hair i've um learned that and that is how i got a little bit more creative with how i wear my hair and my wigs and stuff um i will make a video on what i do now for my natural hair because it is a struggle um not too bad of a struggle but a struggle my southern accent coming out struggle struggle it is hard to maintain the natural hair for the african americans um that's in service and uniform but we can get through it um our missus that went before us they got through it so i know we can too just have a little bit more fun with it and enjoy thank you that is all for this video